As the seasons change, so do our toys. So for our crew, the sleds are put away and it's time for our first off-road ride of the season. So we've chosen to come here to the Limerick Lake Lodge and Marina, right in the heart of the EOTA system. My history here is that my grandparents actually bought a cottage on the lake in the 1940s, spent my childhood here, uh, moved away for years for my own career. Uh, the resort became available and it really wasn't a master plan, but it happened and I purchased it. Uh, this is my 13th year of operating the resort. I've known many of the customers since I was young, uh, the new customers. It's fun dealing with people who are having fun. First of all, the lake is uh, about 25 miles in circumference, about 150 cottages. It's a water access lake. We do have uh, rental boats available, so it's hard to tow a boat and an ATV behind your car when you're coming from the city. So if you bring your ATV, uh, say you want to ride for a day, and then the next day you want to fish, very easy. We can put you into a nice fishing boat for the day, head out on the lake and enjoy that. We have a large parking lot, it's very safe. So it's a great place to, say, come on a Friday afternoon, unload your machine, go for a short ride Friday, go for a longer ride Saturday. You don't have to reload your machine. You can ride right out of the resort. We're about two kilometers from the Hastings Heritage Trail on the municipal road. So it's very easy to come here and spend a weekend, spend a few nights. You can do it in a housekeeping cabin where you have a full kitchen and do your own thing or you can make reservations with meals, what they used to call American Plan, and we'll feed you as well as accommodate you. I get a lot of groups of uh, four to 10, 12, groups of guys anywhere from their 20s through their 60s and 70s that know each other from somewhere. A lot of them are in fishing clubs together, uh, ATV clubs, and they, they come and they book in a group. And the family part of it does work well. Uh, as I say, a lot of our guests are, are groups of guys, but a lot of our guests are also families. So you get extended families. Uh, next week, I actually have a family coming in from Michigan. They've been coming for years and years. This year, there are 11 members of their family coming. Uh, so the resort works well for families. Uh, uh, one of my taglines is creating memories for groups of friends and families for over 50 years. And that's really what the, what the resort does. We are family friendly. Limerick Lake Lodge is located just off the Hastings Heritage Trail. And from here, just about every type of riding is just around the corner. So the, uh, the ice typically melts off the lake here somewhere in mid-April, uh, usually uh, third week of April or so. And it's a great time to, uh, first of all, to come in, in to trout fish. And then the second thing is the snowmobiles are put away and the snow's gone. The uh, forest is, is really pretty as it starts to come in to, to uh, get its leaves and it's a great time to come and ride at that time of year also. Bancroft holds two ATVing events in the uh, early spring. I believe one is about the last week of April. The other one is around the first week of May. I know one of them is sponsored by the fire department. They're great fundraisers for the community and they sell out almost immediately. So that raises the profile of ATVing in the area right away, right in, in late April, early May. So I find that, that folks are thinking riding here just almost as soon as the snow is gone out of the bush. The Eastern Ontario Trails Alliance is a multi-use trail system throughout Eastern Ontario, stretching between the Ottawa Valley and the Bay of Quinte. This interconnective network allows users to travel throughout the area on a mapped and signed trail system. Plus, this network is big enough to allow users to ride between overnight destinations or settle into one location for day loops like we've done here at Limerick Lake Lodge. 
the lodge is about a 20 minute drive south of Bancroft, which is a cottage country hub in the area, which means it's only about a three hour drive from Toronto and a little over a two hour drive from Ottawa. We're basically in the center of the EOTA system, well within the reach of all the different types of terrain this trail network has to offer. This is the Canadian Shield, so in this area, the, the Shield actually starts about 35 kilometers south of here. Uh, you see the terrain changes from farmland into forest land. So we, we have typical mixed hardwood, softwood, pines, rolling hills. Then as you get a little bit north of here, you don't have to go very far at all. As you get up into Bancroft and over toward the Madawaska Valley, the hills get a lot bigger. Uh, we're an easy ride from here to the, to the village of Foymont, which is actually the highest point in Ontario. Uh, so you get into some trails that cross over mountains with gorgeous views. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of varied terrain to ride there. So yeah, you're not just riding a rail bed that, that, that is flat. You may ride a rail bed to get to somewhere to branch off and then enjoy some varied terrain. So we're, we're part of the EOTA, the Eastern Ontario Trails Alliance. Um, they work in conjunction with the local municipalities, the County of Hastings. Uh, they get some provincial and federal funding. And they work on, the, on what are the snowmobile trails in the winter. Uh, obviously things that are lake-based you can't use in the summer. But they, they work on that trail network. They help to maintain them. Uh, they've done a lot of work to uh, obtain gravel and to, to keep the trails graded, to keep the brush cleared all summer long. But the, the EOTA has been very diligent in their, in their printed paper maps. So in this day and age of things happening online, the EOTA continues to, to update and, and print a really good print map. Uh, so it makes it fairly easy to follow the trails, see what you're doing, uh, uh, keep track of where you are. Uh, the, the maps have latitude and longitude along the edge of them, so if you're riding by uh, GPS, it's easy to figure out where you are. And then there are a lot of smaller trails that run off to the sides. Sure, you can get off into the bush, but usually you don't get too far off of the, of the major marked trails and you can find your way back. But it, it's very easy. Uh, I'm a permit vendor. There are a number of permit vendors in the area. You can come in, get your permit, and get it for a day, a week, the whole season, and get out on the trails quickly. Uh, it's also very easy to ride into the neighboring municipalities of either Coe Hill or Bancroft, find restaurants there. If you want to turn it into sort of a social outing as well as your riding, it's easy to do that in those municipalities. The ATV culture is a great culture here in town. Um, you know, people from all over, including the states, they'll come all the way to Bancroft, Ontario to go ATVing and, you know, they'll enjoy the stuff that we have to offer here, the beautiful lakes and the nice trails and uh, that kind of stuff. Um, there is actually quite a following here. We get lots of uh, uh, ATV riders in the summer and uh, we're located right off uh, the ATV trail, which is just right over the bridge. So we're very accessible uh, for the ATV riders to come. What's great about around here is that, we, you know, it's, it's means of, tra of transportation on the roads. So as long as your, your vehicle's, uh, you know, it's got insurance and license plates and it's, it's, uh, you can ride it right downtown Bancroft if you want. So it's, it's good, yeah. So we pulled the troops and we've determined that at this point in the day, well, we're all pretty dusty and the beer in there look pretty good. So what we're gonna do is take the ATVs back to Limerick Lake, figure out who's gonna be the DD after we get washed up, come back here so we can actually sample some of this beer and maybe even have dinner. <sighs> Gotta get the lemmings going here. All right, guys, you ready to go? Um, can you uh, fuel it and uh, have it washed for first thing in the morning? Sure. Thank yes, you. sir. Thank you. They'll be doing a ride during the day and, you know, they'll come in and check the store out and stuff. And then when they go home at night, then they'll come back, they'll grab a couple growlers and, you know, or they'll go up and to our restaurant and have a nice meal and, you know, have a great night. And, uh, you know, this is a fun place to be and, you know, it's a, we're creating, you know, a destination place for, for somebody to come and, 
you know, they can try some beer or they can, uh, you know, eat some food or, you know, enjoy the festivities here or whatnot. So, yeah, we, we, we welcome them. On day loops or overnight trips from anywhere within the EOTA, food and fuel is always within reach on well-marked maps. And even though we kept this tour to day loops out of the lodge, we were able to enjoy riding out to places like Coe Hill for lunch. I personally try to always over deliver, under promise and over deliver. I would rather surprise my people, surprise my guests with, with how much fun they have when they get here. So I, I tend to under advertise. Um, very rarely does anybody leave and say they haven't had a great time. So I, I, I try to, I try to under, under promise and over deliver. It's just part of our business psychology. With a cottage atmosphere, it doesn't matter if you're here with friends or family, Limerick Lake Lodge and Marina is a place you'll want to come back to.